Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you live swatches of China Glaze Summer 2021 Havana Nights Collection. So this is a six piece collection. I picked these up from Polish Pickup and I want to make a quick disclaimer that neons are really hard to pick up on camera and I do not have a professional camera. So if the colors so some of the colors are slightly off and I will tell you that in the live swatches and also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and like the video. So one last note, be sure to stay to the end of the video so you can see some comparisons I have for this collection. So let's get started. So first up is Tropic Like It's Hot and this is a very, very, very bright neon lemon lime color it definitely has a stronger neon yellow look to it but it definitely has that green kind of undertone so like depending on what light you're looking at it sometimes it'll look yellow and sometimes it, it will look green the formula is decent <laughs> it's kind of thicker i think so it could try to be opaque on two coats but I definitely think you're gonna need three coats anyway with this polish but that's pretty much expected for yellows um, I didn't have too much problems with it running or pulling around my cuticles which was really nice you definitely need the third coat to kind of remove any streakiness in the polish and you can't really see that on the video but in person you can still see the streaks after two coats but at three coats it looked good I did have some issues like with self self leveling I definitely had to make sure to let each coat of polish dry before I added the next coat or there would be self leveling issues but this is a cream so it's very easy to remove and like I said this is a very very bright neon color Head to Mojitos is this really pretty, like, I don't know, I kind of want to say a jade green polish. Um, I think this would be a pretty color for summer. It's not showing up very accurate on camera. It actually is a little bit darker than what you're seeing on camera, but it's not like a fall dark green color either. So I'm really sorry that my camera is not picking up the accurate color. Um, even the picture looks a little bit lighter to me. So it kind of looks different in just like regular lighting. But in brighter lights, it kind of turns into this lighter green color. The formula on this one's really good. I got it completely opaque in two coats. It does have a thicker formula, but it was easy to work with and I didn't have any running or pulling issues which was really nice and again this will remove very easily because it is a cream polish. Next is Cuba Diving and this is just a light blue cream. So nothing special about this polish. I'm kind of disappointed in this polish to be honest because China Glaze has a ton of polishes like this as you'll see in the comparisons at the end of the video. However, if you don't have a color like this, this one's a nice formula. I was able to get it opa opaque in only two coats. It is a little bit thicker formula, so it doesn't have too many issues with running or pulling in your cuticles. So, yeah, nothing special about this color. It's left my heart in Havana, and this is like a light dusty gray purple. And on video, I think it's coming off a little bit darker than it is in person. So it is a, a touch lighter <laughs> in person than it is on the video. Again, really good formula. It was opaque in, in, it was completely opaque in two coats. I did have a little bit of issues with it flooding my cuticles, as you can see. And um, yeah, nothing really too special about this one either. It's a pretty purple with a good formula. It Takes Two to Mango is this bright, bright neon orange with 
like a a gold shimmer inside of it and this is completely not showing up correctly on camera I'm really sorry I just couldn't get the lighting right it's just so bright it's really freaking out my camera phone but just know like if you see this in person it's a hot hot orange with these really nice gold flakes in it formula is really nice um I was able to get it opaque in two coats it is a thicker formula but not too thick remember to let each coat dry before you apply the next coat or you'll kind of get some un some unevenness in your nails but I really like this one I think this is my favorite in the collection and last is Guava Mama and this is a really really bright neon Barbie pink and I think for the most part it's coming up pretty accurate on camera but it is a whole lot brighter in person it has a really good formula I got it completely opaque in two coats it wasn't too thick or too thin there was no running or pooling but um, again make sure each coat dries before you apply the next coat and yeah I like this one too um, this is a really nice pink I love how bright it is and it has a really great formula for neon so I was pleasantly surprised by this one so lastly I just want to show you some quick comparisons of a few of the polishes in this collection first I have takes two to mango which is on the far left Japanese koi is in the middle and orange knockout is on the right these are the three neon oranges I have from China Glaze it takes two to mango is unique because it does have that shimmer in it compared to the other two which are just oranges but I think Japanese koi the one in the middle is the closest shade to the one in the in the collection however it is different and Japanese koi and orange knockout are um, one of those neon polishes that look better when you apply it over white. That's how you get the best neonness out of the polish. But it takes two to mango. Definitely you can wear it on its own with no white as your base. So the closest comparison I have for Left My Heart in Havana, which is on the left, is Let's Jam by China Glaze. And also for these comparisons I'm just comparing China Glaze polishes not any other polishes so let's jam which is on the right is a medium purple cream with the blue shimmer in it so it's not exactly like um, the one on the left which is left my heart in Havana because it's a little bit lighter of a purple and it also has that kind of shimmer inside of it Okay, so for this blue, Cuba Diving, which is on the left, I have so many light blue China Glaze polishes, it, it's not even funny. And I was going to show you like maybe three more blues to compare, but it was just getting ridiculous. And I was trying to get the ones that were the closest shade to this polish. There are a few others that leaned more minty or like a little bit darker than this one. But I am going to show you five comparisons to Cuba Diving. So Cuba Diving is on the far left. And going from left to right, I'm comparing it with Capacity to See Beyond, UV Meant to Be, Rain Dance the Night Away, and Shore Feels Good. So as you can see, these are all like pretty close. If you're a nail polish collector like I am, Maybe you would want to get all of them because they are like slight differences. But like I said, um, Cuba Diving is nothing special. And I don't think it will be very unique to your collection if you have a large nail polish collection. And the color on the far right, Shore Feels Good, just came out in their spring 2021 collection. And it's very similar to the one in the summer collection, so I'm not sure why they would come out with two polishes so close together in, like, collections right next to each other. So I don't have any 
comparisons from China Glaze for Tropic Like It's Hot, which is that neon yellow green color. I did want to compare it to Grass's Lime Greener, but I can't find that polish right now, which is strange because I just had it like three weeks ago. But anyways. And for Head to Mojitos, I don't think I have anything like this in my China Glaze collection, but I think this one's pretty unique. Well, to me anyway. And for the bright pink, which is Guava Mama, I expected to have a ton of dupes for this one. I like went in my China Glaze drawers and actually all the neon pinks I have from China Glaze are like pretty different. They either have like some sort of shimmer in it or they're lighter or darker or more red leaning than this pink. So I think this one's pretty unique in my China Glaze collection as well. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you plan on picking up any of the polishes in this collection. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I love you guys. Bye.